friends to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Step inside the tent, my friends and movie maniacs. We take a look at Greywood's plot. Uh, this uh, fun uh, comedy horror film was directed by Josh Stifter and written by Josh Stifter and Daniel uh, Diegenen. And I, uh, wow, I murdered that name. I apologize. Uh, Degnan. <laughs> we have a story here of a, uh, he's a vlogger. He does, uh, he's been doing videos for quite some time of trying to catch the elusive Bigfoot or other cryptid. Uh, and, you know, he's really hit the end of his ropes, but just about when he thought all was lost and he just couldn't go on, he gets a mysterious tape that shows some evidence that has tweaked his curiosity, so he enlists his friend and camera person to go out to this location where this video was shot with this mysterious creature to see if it was real, and if nothing else, kind of reconsider some of his recent uh, decisions. <laughs> well, while out there, they get more than they bargained for as uh, they find a creepy landowner of this area. They camp out there and soon uh, they really discover that uh, not all things uh, were real on the tape, but not everything was a lie either. Oh wow, Greywood's plot just blew me away. It starts off a, a bit dark with the uh, Dom character played by Josh Stifter. He, he, you know, the vlogger guy who's really just, he's tired of life, but you know, uh, I loved his performance. He's got some great comedic timing with Keith uh, Radichel, who plays Miles, his buddy. I love the banter between these two. You felt the connection between these two, that they've had a longtime friendship. And yeah, there's some really great dis talks in here, like they were friends. Dom character is definitely an interesting one. Both solid performances. Who else puts in the solid performances? Daniel uh, Dagnan, uh, who plays Doug Greywood, the guy who owns the Greywood's plot. Oh man, you know, he's creepy at first, and then as the film goes along, he just, he really chews up some scenery in here for sure. And I love the twist the story takes. It does not go exactly where you think it is, and what it does, wow, do they just go, they shoot for the, they, they, they hit for the bleachers and they knock it out of the park. Really, there's, there's wonderful gore and makeup effects. It takes this weird, bizarre Cronenberg type uh, uh, approach to it. Uh, it's shot in black and white, which I appreciate as well. It gives it kind of that retro feel. And there's some retro tech in here as well, but it's not set in the past. It's a great uh, culmination, uh, a combination here of uh, retro style and modern style, like technology, computers, and that. Like, he burned something to a CD, yet they have smartphones. So, you know, it's a mixed, I, I loved the mixture of that quite a bit. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, the locations that they picked were phenomenal, and doing it in black and white gave it that little extra creepy aspect to it, while it gives it a, a bit of a... Uh, you know, more classic 50s monsters type feel to it. Uh, yeah, it, it just adds to the creepy level, especially the way they play with the dark levels and the shadows in here. Uh, never quite showing you exactly what's going on. And man, I, yeah, the script surprised me and that doesn't happen quite as often uh, as you might think uh, in, in, in a, pl a pleasant way, a, a wonderful way. Uh, and yeah, uh, folks, if you get a chance this week, it comes out on VOD. Check out Greywood's plot. If you like indie horror comedy at all, this, while it has a smaller budget, they work within their budget and they use their budget effectively, especially as I mentioned in makeup and practical effects, which are abound in here, especially in the second half of the film. Uh, so yeah, you gotta check it out if you at all enjoy uh, those kind of, uh, not quite a, well, it does get a little over top, Indie horror comedies, yeah, check it out. Greywood's plot for sure. And check out our Patreon if you haven't already. I appreciate every single one of you watching. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, I keep that ticket stub.